Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, I'm covering something, well, in my opinion, I think is well overdue. I originally covered, I guess, a variation of this maybe four years, maybe five? No, I, no, was it in the first year of the channel? I don't remember. But quite some time ago for the Nintendo Switch, and now they finally, finally, have released one for the PlayStation 5. What is that? The Hori Fight Stick Mini. Yes, you can buy a number of these big boys for a lot of money. But if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, but you want something that at least resembles that arcade feel, whether you're playing Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or even beat-em-ups, doesn't matter, right? You want that arcade feel. This might be your best bet. Yeah, it's not going to be one of those that sits on your lap and, you know, gives you that full do 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 No, you're going to have to put it on a table or a desk or something like that. But, for 60 bucks, this might be the perfect alternative. There's only one way to find out, right? Let's open it, test it out. Here we go. The Fighting Stick Mini for PS5 and PS4. So there you go, if you're wondering if it was working for the PS4, yes. PS5, PS4, and PC. PC compatibility not tested nor endorsed by Sony Interactive Entertainment. So that means it's only licensed by Sony for Sony products, meaning PS4 and 5. Let's take a closer look at the back. Compact and portable arcade stick for the PlayStation 5 console and PlayStation 4. Low friction and high durability. Nothing fancy. Okay. Let's open this. I've actually been looking for a PlayStation fight stick for a while, but they've been so expensive. And I was just like, I don't play enough fighting games these days on the PlayStation in order for me to justify that purchase. I play a lot more on the Switch because, well, I just do. But now I do have a few games like Guilty Gear Strive, King of Fighters, Street Fighter 6 that would all benefit from this stick. Okay. So just in terms of feel right out of the box, it feels all right. The buttons, they're not gonna give you that high-end feel, of course not, it's a $60 fight stick. What I think this will do, if you're just looking for casual fighting arcade stick gameplay, now it has a little button up here, or should I say a little switch, that goes PS5, PS4, PC, depending on what you're playing. You got the PlayStation Home button, and then you have your different uh, buttons that aren't really represented on a fight stick, like the L3 and R3, the menu and the share button. And that's it. It's a very simple, very basic fight stick. So you know what we have to do now? Test it out. All right, so we're gonna test it on an arcade game. I just think that makes perfect sense, don't you? Uh, let us... There's only one correct choice. Time for me to bring the pain. Okay, so we got a problem. The stick doesn't work. All right, so we got a bit of a problem here.
It says you can move with the D-pad or the L-stick. It's working in navigation here. It doesn't even recognize the stick, yet it's in PlayStation 5 mode. What if I put it in PS4 mode? Nope. Still. Doesn't work. Not good. Let's try another game. Alright, here we go. We're going to test Mark of the Wolves, because this is a classic. So let's go down just to practice, see how it feels. See how it works. Pick my boy Terry. All right, so everything seems good. Let's just go with rock. Okay. We've we've got a little issue. Look what it says at the bottom of the screen. Press select continue. So your PS1, PS2, and PS3 controllers all had start and select. Your PS4, PS5 don't. And it had to use a touchpad to simulate one side of the touchpad being start, the other side being select. There's no touchpad on here. So if you have a game that requires the start or select buttons, you cannot play them because you will be at a disadvantage. And that's not good. Um, what is Neo Geo Select? All right, there we go. So that's one thing you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go into start and put Neo Geo Select in order to start, which is just terrible. But hey, there's one way around it. Neo Geo Select. So It works very well, though. Alright, so not bad. We did find one flaw. Without a touchpad, you are going to have issues in certain games. But in this one, there's a way around it. That's good. It feels fine. Now let's try a 3D fighter. So let's go. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Captain America. Avenger. Ready for battle? Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Oh no, don't want to go. Let's pick. Morrigan. A weedy of the finest dream. Chun Li. Roger. Two Capcom versus two Marvel. That sounds good. Alright, let's see how this... Not bad. Not bad, it actually feels pretty good. Okay. 
Alright, so what did you think of that? We did find a couple of flaws in this thing. As you can see, I still have it plugged into my PlayStation 5 right here. It seems to be a solid unit. Without the touchpad, you are going to have a couple of drawbacks when you're playing some kind of classic games. But some of them, like that, have the, the workaround for the PlayStation 4 and 5. We had the problem with the Turtles. For some reason, it was not recognizing the stick. I did try to mess with some of the other options. I just couldn't get it to work outside of uh, uh, recording. Seems like an issue. For the two fighting games, it works fine. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to work with the other ones. Now, the arcade stick or the fighting stick for the Switch from Hori worked on other games. It worked on uh, beat-em-ups. It worked, it worked on pretty much everything. This one has an issue. Don't know why. <laughs> so, before you invest your $60, you might want to think about what you're playing and how you're going to be playing it because it doesn't work with everything. It clearly doesn't work with everything. And we tried three different games, retro, modern, fighters, and a beat-em-up, and that did not work. So with that being said, that's up to you. I don't know if I can really recommend this unless you're specifically playing fighting games. Don't know why it's not working with beat-em-ups. Beat-em-ups are a type of fighter, but hey, that seems like a, a pretty big drawback. No touchpad uh, support, no touchpad alternative, nothing, and that's that's a big problem. Even if you had like a button that said touchpad left or touchpad right, or even like a little touchpad there to just, or a button that mimicked a touchpad, I don't care. Just give us that because there are games that require the usage of that, especially if you're playing the, the more retro games on it. So you have to be careful with that. And it didn't work on the, the arcade beat-em-up. And it's an arcade. What can I say? I don't know. I don't think I can recommend this. Maybe if they uh, update it, and that's all I can really say. So, buyer beware. Don't know if I can recommend this at this time. Maybe they'll put an update. I don't know. As of right now, I didn't see any updates. I'll keep you updated if there's an update on this fight stick so it can be updated so you can play your beat-em-ups. <laughs> there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Make sure you tune in every Thursday night, 9 p.m. ish Eastern for Ready to Start Podcast. It's a great time. We're encroaching episode 50, and it's going to be a spectacular event. Thank you guys so much. Again, God bless you. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.